Hi well guys, so it's been a good week or so since I've done my last video, um, well a couple of weeks, I've uh, not really had much else to film so I haven't done anything up till now, uh, fish have all had their treatments that they needed, they've all come through that fine, and they're all feeding well, water clarity's not quite back to where it was because I did have the UV off for quite a while, but it is clearing, uh, they're all eating well, having about 500 grams a day of food at the moment really getting through it um, still got the heater set to 21 degrees so get a last bit of growth on them before the end of the year hopefully don't know if any of you remember the little ginrin chag that got stuck in my filter or got stuck in the bottom drain pipe work that's it there it's growing loads it's probably 30 centimeters now yeah, it's quite cool that that's still doing well. Anyway, um, today what I'm going to do is I want to fit an auto top up onto the pond rather than using the trickle in, trickle out. Uh, I'm having a few problems with the trickle in because I can't get it to stay at the right speed. It's either too fast or too slow. If it's too slow, the drum gets stuck in a cleaning cycle. And if it's too fast, I get a water bill like I did the other day. And yeah, I can't, I can't afford to be paying quite that much on water. I think I've been trickling it a bit quicker than I thought and probably doing at least 30% water change a week, which yeah, is probably a bit too much. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that now and I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. So before we get into doing the auto top up, uh, I've got two fish that I'm looking to move on. Not sure if anybody's interested in them. Um, skin Matsuba. Uh, I think it's 38, 39 centimetres and Goshki that is I think it's 40, 41 um, yeah both really nice really healthy fish not after loads for them but if anybody is interested drop me a message in the comments and sort some in you would have to come and collect it from Northampton if you're after one or both of them just let me know, drop it in the comments below. So what I'm planning to do is I want to fit like a toilet system style water top up. Um, originally I wanted to try and get it in the actual skimmer but there's not quite enough clearance above it to get it in to get the water level at the right height. Uh, and, and the other place I could have put it was on the clean side of the drum. Uh, but that would be a, a real pain to get to because I'm I've not really got space down the side of that fence and plus I don't really want to drill a hole in the drum. Uh, probably would be the best place to put it but I'm too scared to cut a hole in the drum. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got a box with a toilet auto top at valve fitted onto it and I'm going to have that about here somewhere and I'm going to have a pipe connecting the back of the skimmer to this box and that'll let me have my auto top up and set the water level where I want. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I'll explain it sort of as I go along but I'm thinking that should work. We'll, uh, we'll find out at the end. Um, part of the problem I have is when the water level in the drum drops, drops the water level in the IBC which then pumps all the water into the pond and it goes straight down the overflow. Um, so every clean, I'm not just losing three liters of water from the, uh, from the drum cleaning, I'm using a, losing a load more that goes down the overflow. So I'm having to trickle in water really quickly at the moment. It's just, it's not really working for me. I'm hoping this is gonna be better. So this is where we're at with the overflow. I've dropped the water level in the pond a bit so it's below the skimmer and put a bulkhead through the back of the skimmer and got a ball valve there so I can isolate it if I ever need to and then be into this tub. Um, so I've got a float valve in here which I can adjust and that will set the water level so because these are connected by a pipe so the water level is going to be right here somewhere because these are connected by a pipe, uh, if the water level in the pond drops, it will take water from there and then that will top it back up. 
that's the theory because these two will, will sit at exactly the same level um, so hopefully whenever the drum cleans it takes water from the pond and it'll top it straight back up from there and I should never have a problem with the, the drum pumping the water dry because you know, once the level starts dropping it will just keep it top back up just got to wait for the fittings to dry and then I'll connect my hose pipe, fill that back up, I'll adjust the um, the little cup on the end, get that set at the right level and then I'll open that up and it should just fill the pond back up. That's the plan anyway. So I've got it filled up just for a quick test. The idea is in the water level in the pond it drops, float switch comes back on, tops it up. It should stop in a second, hopefully. says and it stopped there we go so it should keep the water level the same and then once I open this ball valve it'd be the same between there and the pond I just have to have a little play with that to get it the right height um, before I do that obviously I've, I've got a leak from this tank connector I don't know what it is about these tank connectors I can never get them to seal so I'm going to drain this down, um, put some CT1 silicon around the outside of there just to make sure that's sealed and I'll, I'll probably do the same on that one as well. I don't know why I can never get them to bloody seal. So we're all back up and running. This is topping the pond back up. It's running a little bit quicker than I'd probably normally run it but with the, with the big blue that I've got there's no chlorine getting through. I have checked it at that speed. Um, that's got about another centimetre or so before it uh, will shut the water off which should be about right you can kind of see the line on there about where I want the level of the water so hopefully that'll be about right right so the top up is up and running uh, what level is spot on where I want it uh, I did have to move this valve down because it was too high and it wasn't low enough for the, the top up to actually work but um, anyway got it in the right place now so the top up has brought the water up to this level um, if the water level drops in the skimmer then that should top it straight back up again We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes over the next few days. Um, fingers crossed it works out works out well. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. You know, if I push it down, you know, like a millimetre, it goes back on. And then once I let go, it does take a couple of seconds, but it stops, he says. It should do. There you go. Yeah, stopped. But yeah, it does seem pretty sensitive. It only needs a drop in water level of, of about a millimetre to uh, to get it to top up. So we'll leave it overnight. Let's see. Hopefully, in the morning, we come down to a pond that's still got some water in. So it's been running a couple of days. The auto top up seems to be working spot on. Um, yeah, that's it really for this video. Um, if anybody is interested in those fish, let me know. This is the Matsuba just there and the, uh, the Goshki just down there. There it is. Yeah, let me know. And I'll possibly be moving on a couple of my homegrown fry as well. Maybe that one there. And possibly that one down there. Need to make a bit of space really, all the fish are, fish are really growing, um, particularly this Deutz Chag from Cuttlebrook, that's growing loads, I might bowl that up and have a quick look at that one day. Um, if anybody does want any koi food, uh, have a look at the link below, I think I've still got one bag left of growth food if anybody wants to grab that quickly while the temperatures are still up, 
uh, and then there's some wheat germ and also some sinking wheat germ and a sinking all season food as well um, on the sinking stuff I've kept the prices the same but I've made it up to six kilos now instead of five so if anybody does want any of that jump on there and grab it uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna do it for just because some of the costs and things um, and yeah I've got a bit going on for the rest of this year but anyway thanks for watching this video guys I'll see you in the next one